I am not here to make any tall claims today. Unlike what you get to see at such events. Not here to boast about ourselves. There will be no excuses given, no talk about mistakes made and opportunities missed. Instead, I am here to plant a seed today. The seed, I hope and believe, will grow its roots into building a foundation for innovations from India that can empower millions across the globe. Friends, I thank you all for joining us today and will try to make it worth your time. Every Indian has a dream for the country and every Indian wants India to become a strong country, economically, militarily and technologically. And to that end, many individuals, organizations and government are working hard to turn that dream into a reality. Because make no mistake, it is the responsibility of Indians to build India. And it is in the interest of Indians to build India. It is neither the responsibility nor so much in the interest of other countries and their companies to build the India of our dreams. It's only and only our duty to work towards building our own nation. India is home to 18% of global population. But our contribution to global GDP is only 3.2%. Out of the global mobile production of $450 billion, India's share is just about 5%. In order to correct this imbalance and to grow our country, many small efforts at various levels will have to apply force in a singular direction. And that is the direction of Atmanirbharta. If you look into the history of today's rich countries, you will realize that there is no other alternative to self-reliance. However, self-reliance cannot be achieved without building strong indigenous businesses. And building such businesses is a serious business. It's a task that must go beyond just the sentiments and superficiality. Something that requires relentless toiling and commitment to building our own capabilities. No one can deny that India deserves a better place in the world. And no one can disagree with the fact that Indian talent is among the best in the world. The whole world recognizes that. It is time to build an ecosystem within India that can bring the amazing opportunities ahead of us face to face with the immense talent that our country produces. We have made a small beginning in that direction. And that's what we will talk about today. And that's what we will share with you today. So let's begin. Since we are meeting after a long time, let me take you through what we have built so far. Right from day one, we have focused on developing capabilities that would help us build long-term strengths. And with that thought in mind, we started our own manufacturing in China in 2010 and moved on to set up our own R&D organization in 2012. All this had to be done in China due to ecosystem compulsions. But at the back of our mind, we always wanted to build these strengths in our own country. Therefore, in the year 2015, we set up our own manufacturing plant in India. But that sure wasn't enough. We always knew that without building design capabilities, we cannot have end-to-end -end control over the value chain. And you were all witness to that proud moment in 2017 when we came out with the first 100% design in India phone. And you would be happy to know that by 2019, Lava had expanded its operations in more than 22 countries. We were always conscious of the fact that in order to build a holistic organization, we need to build and develop strengths in all domains. So starting with sales and distribution, where we have one of the largest distribution footprint in India with over 1,000 distribution partners serving 1 lakh plus retail outlets. Recently, and as well as many times before, our retail partners have rated us as the most trusted brand in India. Our customer service network of 800 plus service centers and 100 plus mobile service centers is one of the largest in the country. Our after sales service was the first in India to receive an ISO certification. We were the first manufacturer to start SMT in India. And we now have been able to scale up our manufacturing to produce 50 million handsets annually. And we are now at a stage where we are localizing 
60 to 70 percent of our components within India. Being the only brand that designs in India, all our feature phones are now 100 percent made in India. This has not only helped us set benchmarks in product quality, but also helped us innovate for our consumers in the form of new innovations like Lava Pay and Lava Pulse. India is at a very important juncture today. There are many factors, local as well as global, that offer a clear advantage to us as a country. While India is the second largest smartphone market in the world, we still have a large base of feature phone users who need to be digitally connected by making quality smartphones accessible to them. The world also needs an alternate ecosystem and India is well placed to become the global manufacturing hub now. We have predominantly been a sales and distribution led economy. And the road to becoming Atmanirbhar has many milestones for us to achieve. In this journey, while most companies have reached SMT manufacturing stage, we have moved many steps further and are the only company in India to design completely in India. Once we make significant progress in all these domains, we will then have a truly self-reliant ecosystem. Our design capabilities allow us to innovate, provide superior quality, and deliver great product experience. And our vision is to make these quality products accessible to every Indian. So we embarked on this journey to build a complete indigenous smartphone using our very own Indian engineering talent. And we dedicate this phone to those who feel quality smartphones are out of their reach. We went about doing an extensive research among these consumers and identified some of their key needs. The hang-free user experience topped the list. Because of the low quality hardware and software used in the segment, consumers don't get seamless experience and durability. So presenting to you the first ever designed in India smartphone Lava Z1 with the aim to upgrade feature phone users to smartphones. Before we go on to the detailed specifications of the phone, let me tell you about my recent trip to a special place to meet a special person. The place and the person both are synonymous with inspiration and pride. Let's have a look. Today, I'm standing amidst a landscape like no other, a place that invokes pride. And it's at these great heights in Ladakh that I'm meeting the man who stands for the heights of Indian innovation. It's from this very place, not very far from India-China border, that he gave the clarion call to fight the enemy's bullet power with our wallet power. And rest is history. I've dedicated my life to solving problems facing the Ladakh region. I have the same vision for the country, but of course I cannot do it alone. And I'm happy to know that there are other like-minded people who share the same vision. One such Indian company, Lava International, is at the forefront of building India's capabilities in the mobile phone sector. And guess what? Today, I have a very special visitor. Sonamji, I have always admired the potential you see in Indian engineers and how you encourage out-of-the-box thinking and innovation. We have to become self-reliant in every sector. We have to build a mindset and an ecosystem for that in the whole country. Let me show you some examples here. So here we are at the Ice Tupa artificial glaciers. What is interesting is that uh, countries like Switzerland, Czech Republic and Austria are also working on this and our people go and help them there. So this is rice straw from Punjab and farmers there burn it in massive quantities causing huge pollution in North India. So using the problem of Punjab to solve the problem of Ladakh, we came up with this straw reinforced clay blocks and built this prototype for the Indian Army. It needs no heating in Ladakhi winters. Actually, design capability is very important, whether for an environmental solution or a phone company. Um, we'll never cease to depend on leftovers of other countries if we don't get control of design. It gives you quality, experience, and above all, ability to innovate. And you know what? 
I have the proof in my pocket. This phone you sent me the other day, I've been exploring it. Amazing. You know, I like two things about it. That it has never hanged, super smooth, and the sound quality is loud and clear. Right from industrial design, hardware design, mechanical design, to software design. It is totally the brainchild of Indian engineers and is also completely manufactured in India. By the way, it's also a military grade certified smartphone. We made sure it's tough, rugged and durable for Indian conditions and yet beautiful. Amazing, proud of you. Sonamji, what a privilege it has been to spend the day with you. You are an inspiration to millions of young Indians and to us too. Thank you Sunil and the Lava team of engineers for leading this mission. As I always say, Desh ke liye jaan dene ki nahi, zindagi dene ki zarurat hai. Yeah, Zhongli. Yeah, Zhongli. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're done it, huh? You're done it, huh? You're done it, huh? Yeah. It was really cold there. We were out there in minus 10 degrees centigrade. But the warmth of the place and Sonam Ji was incredible. Now, let me take you through the specs of Z1. The Lava Z1 comes with 2 GB RAM and a 5 inch display. For a high quality audio output, it comes with a 5 magnet speaker. This is the only phone in the segment to use Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection because we wanted the phone to be of strong build quality to withstand the toughest of conditions and usage. I must thank Corning team for helping us at the design level to further make the phone sturdy and durable. This phone is a military grade certified device and the certification involves drop tests on multiple sides of the phone to meet the military standards of toughness. So the price of the Lava Z1 is just Rs. 5499. It will be available across online and offline channels from this Republic Day onwards. I thank MediaTek India team for the immense support during the making of this phone. We have a message from Kuldeep Malik from MediaTek. Hello everyone. Lava International has been our long-standing and trusted partner for years and we have a fruitful association towards enabling connected devices. MediaTek is happy to support and closely work with Lava International for their upcoming Design in India projects, where their new smartphone devices will be powered by MediaTek Helio G and Helio A series chipset. The new Lava handset will be powered by Helio G series chipset for an incredible gaming experience with an array of technologies to boost the mobile gaming from vivid visuals and rapid sensing touchscreens enhancing the connection between your smartphone and the internet. Also, the A-series chipset will be enabling Lava handset with high performance, incredible camera features, AI enhancement and greater power efficiency. And our Indian team have been working very closely with Lava's India's engineering team to ensure the success of their design in India projects. We look forward to closely work with Lava International in their future endeavors. And on behalf of MediaTek India, would like to wish them a huge success for their design in India projects. Thank you. Thank you, Kuldeep. A very large population of consumers in India buy devices ranging from 6,000 rupees to 10,000 rupees. In fact, the size of this segment is a whopping 40% of the total smartphone market. The consumers in this segment are young, tech aware, and have unique requirements from other segments. In our research, 
we found out that the top priorities for this segment are performance, long lasting battery, high quality imaging, especially from the selfie camera and a great display experience. Z2 is a budget smartphone that is perfect for consumers who need a big display and a long lasting battery. It comes with a 13 plus 2 megapixel dual camera setup on the rear and 8 megapixel selfie camera. It has a large 6.5 inch HD plus display for all your entertainment needs. The device is powered by 2.3 gigahertz octa-core G35 MediaTek processor. This 2 plus 32 GB phone comes with 5000 mAh battery and will give you a clean and bloatware free software experience. This phone also comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection and is also military grade certified. The next phone in our lineup is Z4, a 4 plus 64 GB device. It comes with an immersive 6.5 inch HD plus display and is protected by Gorilla Glass 3. The Z4 has a triple rear camera setup with a 13 megapixel primary camera along with a 5 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The AI enabled camera in this phone adapts its setting as per the object and environment you are capturing using scene detection feature. It comes with a segment first 16 megapixel selfie camera with tetracell technology for clicking great selfies even in low light. Z4 is powered with G35 MediaTek processor and has a 5000 mAh battery. For Z2, you will have to pay just rupees 6999 and Z4 will be available for rupees 8999 only. If you are an avid multitasker, we have Z6, a 6 GB variant also available for you. It also comes with a large 6.5 inch display, AI enabled triple rear camera and 16 megapixel selfie camera. So to get that 6 GB variant, you have to pay only 1000 rupees more because Z6 is priced at 9999 only. The Z2, Z4 and Z6 will be available across online and offline channels from 11th of January 2021. At this stage, I'm sure three things are happening. One, some of you have your comparison charts ready to compare us with the competition. Some of you are thinking that why not a 3GB RAM phone or why not a 128GB ROM phone? And many of you will be thinking, where is the value addition of our unique design and manufacturing capabilities? For a long time now, smartphone industry has been caught up in the price spec battle. And somewhere, brands believe that they have the power to decide on behalf of the consumers. This is precisely the thought process we are going to change today and transfer the power in the hands of the consumers so that you decide what you want. So presenting MyZ, the world's first customizable phone. Suppose you want a 4 GB RAM phone. MyZ allows you the flexibility to select a 32 GB ROM or a 64 GB ROM or even a 128 GB ROM along with it. And next, you also have an option to select between a dual rear camera or a triple rear camera, an 8 MP selfie camera or a 16 MP selfie camera. And finally, you can choose the color of your own liking and your custom made MyZ is ready. Similarly, you will have all these combinations available for a 2 GB, 3 GB or even a 6 GB RAM phone. So there are 66 unique ways in which you can apply permutations and combinations and make your own Z. To get the MyZ of your choice, 
all you have to do is visit the Lava e-store at www.lavamobiles.com and pay only for what you need and we will make sure the phone is delivered at your doorstep and very soon MyZ will also be available at a retail outlet near you but this is just half the story as they say picture abhi baki hai let's assume a scenario you bought a 2GB plus 32GB combination phone for rupees 699 and after a few months you realize that your usage is different from what you had assumed at the time of purchase you have two choices here either you live with this suboptimal experience or you buy a new phone of higher specification in this case let's say a 4 plus 64 GB device for which you will have to pay rupees 899 and therefore the total amount that you pay within first few months of purchase will be approximately 16,000 rupees so this is where our new solution Z up comes into picture Z up allows you to upgrade your phone anytime within the first year of purchase let's go back to the previous scenario you had a 2 GB plus 32 GB phone that you bought for rupees 699 now you can Z up the same phone by either upgrading the RAM or ROM or both all you need to pay is a small incremental charge so now you get to upgrade your phone without paying a fortune for it COVID-19 pandemic has exponentially increased the need for staying up to date on health and fitness parameters therefore for health and fitness conscious consumers we are launching be fit lava's first ever smart band with this band you can keep a track of your daily activity monitor your body temperature heart rate and oxygen levels and also access your emails calls and do much more be fit will be available for 2699 on both online and offline channels so just to summarize my z along with z2 z4 and z6 will be available for purchase from 11th january 2021 z up along with z1 and b fit will be available for purchase from 26 january 2021 across all platforms before we close i promise that this is just the beginning and there is a lot more exciting stuff that we will bring to you in this new year I wish you all a fantastic 2021. Jai Hind!